Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of FTMO Let's Go. Today is the final episode of FTMO Let's Go. The results are in and I'm here to talk about it. So unfortunately, I did not pass the FTMO challenge. I got through one of the two stages, but that doesn't cut it. So I'm making this video not to discuss how my trading was or you know statistics, uh, going through the trades, trying to pick out why I failed. This video is actually about the experience, how I felt, my thoughts, emotions, and like f moving forward after this, what am I gonna do next? So I will be making a video where I go through my own trades, where I analyze my actual, you know, trading itself from the trades to my psychology, going through all that, but I'll probably make that later on this week. So getting right into it, the entire experience itself was 10 out of 10. I, I can't fault anything about FTMO. It was really fun, uh, super engaging. I learned a lot. There was no complaints about the restrictions they had put on me, for example, not being able to hold trades over weekend, uh, trading the news, uh, you know, max loss limits overall, max loss for the day. All of their rules I felt like they were completely fair and I've got nothing negative to say about them. I feel like if you are a good trader and you know you do you think you have the skill set to trade someone else's capital, then none of these targets or none of these restrictions should be too much for you to handle. So you should be pretty skilled in this field to be able to pass the challenge with these restrictions fairly easily, I believe. So what are some things that I liked and disliked about the challenge? Well, first of all, I felt like a real trader with an objective and it was all up to me. There was no one to blame uh, but myself for my mistakes. You know, you're really living as a trader. You've got this pressure on you. You have this time limit. You have certain goals to reach. And it's all of a sudden like everything starts revolving around this challenge. You know, you got to make sure you're mentally uh, healthy. You're going to make sure that you're focused each day um, and to stay focused There's certain things you need to do. You s like this process, well, for me anyways, um, it sort of molded me into more of a trader. I felt like stepping into the challenge I stepped in as someone who was like okay I, th I think I have what it takes I think I sort of know how this works and goes I was just a little bit um, I wouldn't say all over the place I knew what I was getting myself into but coming out of this challenge I feel like I've discovered the like a whole lot more about myself as a trader I've discovered how I operate I've discovered what works well and what doesn't so I really liked it pretty much because it made me, well it gave me that full time trader experience which is uh, how I decided to take it. I, I, I'm not working or anything at the moment. I took the FTMO challenge and lived through it as if this was my real trading. So I really liked it because it gave me that experience to step into the world of being a professional trader. And again, there was nothing that I disliked. Um, like there were some negative things here and there, but I wouldn't say I disliked it. For example, you would get a little bit stressed here and there, um, you know, time limits, you would, you know, always choose to trade freely rather than trading with objectives, rules, uh, like limits and that sort of stuff. I never, I don't dislike that though. That stuff is, it's just a part of the process. Like that's what made it more fun, more interesting. And in a sense, that's, I sort of liked that. That's why I liked the FTMO challenge um, because of those things that weren't so great about it. So, how do I feel about not passing? Well, I've been in this for three months and it costed about 250 bucks to do the challenge. Uh, I felt like I did not lose that three months and I felt like I did, I definitely did not waste that 250 bucks. The way I'm seeing it is. Well, it bought me so much more lessons, experience, I gained so much out of it. Honestly, I am coming out of this FTMO experience failing, feeling really good about it actually. Because if you think about it, if I was ready for this and I was ready to take on that, that amount of capital and to take my career to the next level, like I'm not actually ready for that yet. That's why I could not pass the FTMO challenge. If I was ready, I would have passed. Obviously, it's not my time yet. And I would rather have taken this L now rather than fluked my way through, got given the capital, celebrated, put on Instagram here and there like, yeah, yeah, yeah look, I achieved my goals. And then, you know, have that taste of the real money coming in. And then all of a sudden these um, bad habits of trading, the mistakes that all came out during the second and third month, like 
did not want them to come out when I was like, you know, on top of the world feeling and then having that account taken away from me, stripped away uh, because I didn't deserve it because I was not ready. I feel like that would have been a much worse uh, experience and I would have felt a lot more horrible about that. At least here, there's no false hope, you know, it's, I'm not good enough, so I did not pass and there's a lot I need to work on to get to that stage. So how do I feel about failing? Like, honestly, not bad at all. I feel so much more pumped. I feel so much more psyched up, ready for the next challenge because I documented most most of like my trades. I documented my feelings, my emotions, and there's so much data that I can work with to improve my trading. Honestly, like this is failing forward. This, this fail is taking me a couple steps ahead. One step back for like three steps forward. That's how I'm deciding to see this loss. So what did I gain from this experience? Well, I gained so many lessons to say the least and these aren't just ordinary lessons. It's not like something you can just go on baby pips and find. It's not like something you can buy a course and find. I learned a lot of lessons based on experience and I feel like as a trader, uh, there are certain things you need to learn which you can't just be told or taught. Like You need to go through it yourself to really actually understand what it feels like and how to get through it. Now, I can't put a... Um, I can't use anything as a specific example. I guess the most broad one I can use is psychology. I can't tell you or teach you how to deal with losses. I mean, there's certain techniques here and there, but you know, that's something that you got to go through yourself and figure it out. It's not going to be the same for everyone. So being in the FTMO challenge, I got pushed around here and there, slapped around by the market. Uh, all that did was literally teach me more about myself. Like, how do I deal with these stressful situations? Uh, you know, what helped, what didn't. Pretty much, I just learned how to stay more, like, stay disciplined during these stressful times. I learned ha how to handle heightened emotions, either good or bad, because, like, when you're trading, you don't want to be too overly excited, but you don't want to be overly stressed either. Um, you want to be very neutral, very grounded. Pretty much, this entire three months um, tweaked that really well. So, I learned how to keep my discipline up. I learned a lot of emotional control, uh, stuff of that nature. So yeah, actually that's a perfect example of stuff you can't just read from a book and apply it straight away. That's stuff you gotta go through and learn yourself. But overall, I'm stepping out of the FTMO challenge as a better trader. And I say that very confidently in two sectors. My actual trading skills itself, the technical analysis, the execution of trades, anything got to do with that, and my psychology. I felt like I really sharpened up my psychology over these past three months, more than I would have had um, trading without restrictions, trading without rules or a target or this pressure that FTMO gives you. So what now? What am I going to do? I'm not uh, trading a live account. I failed the FTMO challenge. I've got a couple of things I want to do. First of all, I want to uh, tighten up a few things. So I'm going to go through my trades. I'm going to go through the statistics of my trades that the FTMO terminal uh, you know, gives you. I'm going through my journals just to read about my mindset, my psychology, because I did journal a lot about my feelings during the FTMO challenge. So I'm going through everything. I'm analyzing it all. I'm finding the weak points. I'm going to be fixing things up here and there. Um, pretty much just going to be touching things up, finding what actually worked, what didn't, uh, and yeah, just working on it to improve further. And after that, that leaves us with three more things left to do. Reworking my trading plan because there were obviously flaws in the way that I traded. Testing it properly, making sure that it's a solid plan and that it's going to work this time. And then go on for another challenge, go on straight back in. There is no reason not to once I've completed all that stuff. If I know where I went wrong, if I know what was uh, causing me to take these trades that, you know, brought me to a loss, if I know how to fix it all, adjust it, make it work, then I have no reason to be holding back. I'll be going in for another challenge. Then we'll bring back FTMO Let's Go Season 2. So this is not the last episode of FTMO. I mean, it is for the first season. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, but who knows when it will return. 
when, since this season is done, since FTMO Let's Go is done, I will replace it with something else because I do love to do my weekly uh, forecast and reviews, but I also like to do something vloggy on the side. But I will continue to provide you guys with some other content rather than just weekly forecast and review. Something a little bit more insightful to um, my journey or just personally. But yeah, I mean, that's it pretty much. Overall, like it's been a wild ride three months just done like that it was just, like three months done like that it was so fast it was great um honestly i don't know how to feel now besides great um i wouldn't say relief is a great word um i don't feel relieved because it's not like it was a bad thing at all like honestly i just feel keen for the next round i feel really keen to go through all my statistics and all that get myself you know, from here, take myself up to the next level, go hard again. And I have no doubt in myself, just as I did, you know, with the first round that I'm going to pass it. This time we might up the ante a little bit and go for that six figure account straight away. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's the end of this episode and this series, I guess. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. I'll bring back in a whole nother series of videos. I hope you guys have enjoyed FTMO Let's Go. Um, all the behind the scenes, what it's actually like to be taking this challenge and not someone who just passes it in two, three days and you know, this and that. This is transparent. This is uh, my journey. Exactly how I wanted to document it. So thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next one.